It's Linda. Welcome back to Tips For You. I'm going on my daily walk and I thought I would take you guys with me uh, and say hello. It's a beautiful day. I'll show you. The sky is blue and it's lovely. Okay. See, we got a beautiful day here. It's now five o'clock. I'm going for my walk and everything is still green and pretty oh, how lovely we still have the green trees yay holding on to little bits of summer so how are you all doing um i thought i would talk about a couple of things i wanted to let you guys know that i've had so much wonderful feedback on that video that i did on menopause and perimenopause. Oh my gosh, so many people write me about it um, and tons and tons of questions. So what I thought I would do is I figured that a lot of these questions other people might like the answers to as well. And um, I do my best to answer the questions that are posted below that video, but I get a lot with email and on through Facebook and um, and also through Instagram so what I thought I would do is put up this video and ask for questions please post them below if you have questions about perimenopause or menopause and you're looking for some information you want to know how uh, I dealt with it or I did so much extensive reading on this subject in the last few years that I really want to help you guys and I want to share what I know so leave the questions below and I'm going to do like a question and answer video where I answer all of these questions that have to do with anything of women's concerns when it comes to um, menopause or perimenopause and also if you don't want to post the question because you know it's personal and it's private to you I completely understand that so you send it to my email and I will get it there and I will post my email in the description box as well so you will see it there and you can just send it to me there um, and we can chat there and I can include it in the video and answer the questions uh, that you might have and I think they'll be helpful for others too you know lots of times you know you think you're the only one experiencing something in this world and what I've come to realize over the years is that you are never the only one ever there's always someone else I've had some bad experiences things that have happened you know and I can tell you that I'm not alone that somebody else always has the same thing so if you're suffering or you have problems with something um, please do share it ask I'll help if I can um, based upon my own personal experience and whatever reading that I've done and just remember Okay, I know it's really hard, but just remember that it is a natural process and it's caused by the fluctuating in your hormones But so much of it will go away It will but you really do need to be kind to yourself it's really important to get proper nutrition and proper rest and rest can be really hard because of all of these night sweats and 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 wakefulness and stuff but make a really concerted effort because it's really easy for your health to go downhill during this time of your life it really is so now more than ever it is so important that you pay attention to what you're eating, the exercise you're getting. Um, it, I can't tell you, I mean, if it was ever important in your life, this is the time. Maybe also when you were pregnant, of course, that was really important too because you were trying to, um, you know, grow another human being inside of you. So you know that's really important, but this is super important. Um, I got a lot of questions, I'll answer this one, about hair loss. Uh, I think that's really one of the things that bothers people uh, the most because it's you know it's so apparent and it can be very upsetting but just so you know um, anytime you have hormonal fluctuations that can affect your hair um, let me just cross the street here <laughs> I don't get hit by a car while I'm ta talking to my phone okay um, and yes 
hormonal fluctuations will cause hair to thin and will cause it to fall out. Just like after you had a baby and your hair started to thin and fall out, um, the same thing will happen from the hormonal fluctuations that you're experiencing with your um, menopause. And I just want you to know though that your hair will come back. Okay, so just, there are things you can do. I will link my video below um, because when I noticed that my hair was uh, getting thinner, it's also a time of stress for me, but you know, I, I just find that these symptoms of menopause do become more exacerbated if you're going through a time of stress, which I was at the time. Sorry if I was a little crooked, which I was at the time. So um, definitely keep that in mind that you, during these times of stress, will experience um, hair fall, but your hair will come back. There are herbs you can take. Watch that video because what I talked about with essential fatty acids, flax, um, the nettle, and the evening primrose oil, I'm telling you, it all made a difference. My hair is thicker than ever, as you can see, and it took a little while because you know how it goes. Lasting results always take a while. And I know many people um, turn to minoxidil, but the thing with minoxidil is when you stop using minoxidil, you lose the hair again. I really want something more permanent, so that's why I think it's important to really opt for um, permanent, you know, a more permanent solution, a healthier solution. And I think you'll find that by making the right dietary changes because your hair is the very first thing that's affected by how you live and what you eat. That's why if you lose too much weight, you know, somebody's on a crash diet, the first thing that goes is like their hair starts to thin. So nutrition is so incredibly important. There is no reason for you not to have beautiful hair, you know, during your menopause and after, but you just gotta get past, you know, that two year window. There's that two year window of when your uh, period stops and it seems that your symptoms, they just get worse in that two year period after the end of your period, in that two year time frame after the end of uh, your period, which is, you know, basically it's menopause. So, you know, I think I'm gonna head back home right now because somebody is burning leaves or something and the smell is pretty thick. So I really am not enjoying being outside right now and walking um, and smelling that. It just, uh, I don't know where it's coming from, but it's pretty strong. It almost, it's either that or it smells like someone's chimney, but it's really not cold enough to be making a fire. So, but it's very strong, I have to say. So I'm going to end this video and just remind you to please, um, Leave your comments below. Anything you would like to know about menopause or perimenopause or symptoms that you're experiencing, please leave it below and I will answer it in an upcoming video. Once I get enough questions together, um, I will put the video together and I'll come on and answer the questions. And remember, if you don't feel comfortable about posting your questions below this video, please feel free to send them to me through email or you can send me a private message through Facebook or even through Instagram, okay? So I'll be looking there too for them after this video goes up. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now. And get out for a walk, okay? It's the best therapy in the whole wide world. It is gonna make you feel wonderful. But unfortunately, my walk is being interrupted. It's a little smelly today. I don't know why, and that never happens here. So I'm heading home. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, okay? Because I have so much more to come. I have lots of interesting topics that I discuss, always with your best interest in mind, because I love you all, and I wanna do my absolute best to share as much information 
that I think is relevant and helpful to you so that you can lead a better quality life. Okay, bye now.